My name is Andrew and welcome to this Bitcoin warning video, okay? So we're gonna talk about the Bitcoin technical analysis, okay? Also we're gonna talk about uh, how long it will take for Bitcoin to recover, okay? And how this Bitcoin crash is different from the previous Bitcoin crashes, okay? And also we're gonna talk about exact price targets and also why you should stop panic selling, okay? And this is the biggest, biggest mistake that you can do is, is to panic sell. So first of all, technical analysis, okay? So as you know, Bitcoin went down Bitcoin went down because Bitcoin broke this very very important key level which was our daily support and as you know if we see big candle breaking the support what happens yes the support becomes a resistance okay so the price broke below okay retested this as a resistance and now it's you know it's in between and this was predicted that it will happen because it simply broke this daily support. Okay, so now let's put the Fibonacci on and look at this. So yesterday, okay, look at this daily candle. So yesterday was the, you know, was the lowest point, you know, uh, for Bitcoin in a long time. The lowest point since last year, July. And interestingly enough, when you look at the news releases, okay, so today is the 25th of January. When you look at the news releases, the, you know, Bitcoin also did a huge dip exactly last year on the 25th of January 2021. So and so you will see so many similar patterns in a Bitcoin technical analysis from the history to history charts. So Bitcoin's rally from the lowest lows uh, last week shows bulls are accumulating the dips but the bears are unlikely unlikely to give up easily. And it's so interesting, you know, when you read all their news articles and you look at the nearly exact same price points, okay? So last year on the 25th of January, okay, they're talking about, um, so Bitcoin was able to reach, okay, uh, a little bit below 30K, okay, 32K, 29.7, 28.88K. And yesterday, Bitcoin also did a dip, but it was not able to break a 32k, okay? But uh, here it shows that history does repeat itself, and Bitcoin has repeated its patterns all over and over again, but in fact, it's just making higher highs. So basically speaking, whales are laughing about this, okay? Don't, don't give your money to whales. If you sell, then you lose money. People only lose when they sell. But then now let's take a look. Here is how long it will typically take for Bitcoin to recover from the major crash like this. Look at this uh, and look at this table right here. Let's, let's take a look at this. Okay, so now these are uh, the Bitcoin crashes in the past. Very, very interesting table right here. So 2010, 11, 13. Well, it will be quite probably quite useless to take a look at these. Okay, because Bitcoin wasn't, you know, in, didn't have that mass adoption and wasn't used that much, and you know, honestly, okay. However, 2017, that, the crash that happened, and by the end of the 2017, I think everybody remembers this. This was when most people, most of us got in. Don't you remember, right? So, and that is significant, okay. And that is the worst, uh, but it wasn't actually the worst. It, there, it, there was worst, worst Bitcoin crash that people even don't remember because nobody knew what Bitcoin is in 2013, 11, or <laughs> 2010. However, these are the charts, okay? So 2013, Bitcoin decline was 85%, okay? And then there was a 585% gains after, okay? Okay, uh, so... This is the correction date start, this, this correction start date and this is correction end date, okay? So now we can do some calculations. So now uh, the crash that happened in 2017, okay? The, the, big, the, big, the biggest crash we all remember because that was the time when most of us got in. Okay, if you got in, in you know, before 2017 and you are still in uh, holding, then you are, of course, uh, you are diamond handed and congratulations. So now the crash in 2017, okay? The decline was 84%. Unbelievable, right? People thought that's it, you know, end of the world, you know, and Bitcoin will never come back. However, we saw 534% gains after, okay? It did take a lot of days, you know, to recover, okay? So the decline, okay? But uh, this was the how many days it took, you know, it took it to, you know, to reach all next all time highs. Now, after that, last year, there was two, you know, there was two crashes. One crash was here in January. Uh, actually, when you take a look at the charts in January, you know there is always some, cr always a crash, you know, in the cryptocurrency market. But last April, okay, uh, there was a 55% decline, okay, 
uh, and it took a, you know and, uh, there was 123 percent you know gains after the crash okay uh, and it took uh, 120 days to the new highs on 120 days and now is the question okay how long will this crash take us to recover okay now let me just go up, go up here a little bit okay so uh, people suggest that it could take around uh, around three months okay in three three months so that's uh, 89 days okay first of all nobody knows exactly how long it takes this is just a suggestion okay a suggestion by the other influencers and, and, and creators and when you look at other news portals some suggest around two and a half to three and a half months but average is around three months okay around three months but take, let's take a look at the biggest you know bigger picture right here okay First of all, do you see, let me just delete all this, do you see similarities here? Do you see similarities of what happened before? Okay. Uh, and then how long it, will, it took for Bitcoin to recover? Look at these similarities, look at these gains afterwards, okay? So make sure that, uh, that you understand these correlations. So now some people ask, is this the worst Bitcoin crash or the worst Bitcoin crash was four years ago? Let me show you these guys, okay? So, <laughs> so the worst uh, one, uh, this was the worst Bitcoin crash, okay, in 2011, when Bitcoin lost, the, uh, the Bitcoin lost 99.9%, okay, in a one day, in a one day. But did 99%, uh, you know, uh, decline in price stop Bitcoin? Oh, uh -huh, all right. Of course not, okay? Then there was another crash, 2013, okay, 2017. These are the price targets that we just talked about, talked about just on, you know, on the charts. It's easy to look at the charts though. But now let's take a look at the, you know, other, other very, very important metric right here. So, um, yeah. So stop panic selling, okay? Big whales uh, bag of spare Bitcoin as exchange balances fall. So, 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 okay guys, seriously, okay? So Bitcoins are buying these dips. Okay, so don't sell to them, long story short. Uh, why? Let's take a look at charts, okay? Look here on the bottom, here on the bottom you can see that this is the, this is the volume, okay? Look at the volume, guys. Seriously, right? Look at this buying volume right here. Huge buying volume right here. Yeah, two days ago started, okay? But it wasn't, you know, really seen on a price chart, okay? But basically speaking, okay, more and more whales are buying these dips Especially, you know, who is buying more? The people, okay, the whales that hold the most, the hold the longer are buying these dips because everybody knows that when it comes to uh, end of December, when it comes to end of December, January, end of January, that's the biggest, you know, that's when the crash happens, right? Look at this, okay? So 2017, okay, uh, end of 2017, beginning January 2018, pooh, Bitcoin crash, wow. Now let's go further more, okay? And now, uh, January 2019, okay, small crash right here. Then furthermore, uh, furthermore, so uh, January 2021, Bitcoin went up a little bit and then uh, beginning of the year, crash, boom. Then furthermore, let me show, let me find another Jan end of January, uh, like so, here, uh, November, December, 2020, okay, Bitcoin went up, but, uh, the, okay, December, Okay, January, boom, crash, <laughs> right? Surprising? No, it's not surprising. And now, so, 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 let me just go back here. So, 2021, December and January, crash. So, crash, 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 and crash. Now, but let, now let's take a look at the specific uh, uh, price points. So, what could we expect from Bitcoin right now? So, last week, Bitcoin closed, you know, it closed uh, this was big 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 weekly uh, weekly red candle okay which closed below our support okay so what bitcoin has to do in order to go up in order for bitcoin price to go up it needs to break this you know this uh, resistance so broken support becomes resistance and bitcoin needs to break this resistance point okay uh, so let me just go back to one four hour chart and i'll show you exactly so this resistance point right here okay Bitcoin needs to break this on upside, so it's third around around thirty eight thousand. Okay, if Bitcoin breaks around uh, thirty eight thousand, if you see new four hour candle, okay, listen to this. If you see new if you see new four hour candle above this level, which is thirty eight thousand, 
then we could, we could expect Bitcoin to go up here, which is another resistance, okay, on a triangular pattern, okay. Uh, and only if Bitcoin breaks this line, only then we could say, yes, all right, uh, let's, re let's, let's buy again. But for now on, what we see is we see Bitcoin is declining, Bitcoin is testing still areas. Look how, we well, look at this series, look at this Bitcoin chart, right? So it broke down. Nice. It went up, retested, ex like exactly as predicted. I'm sorry, my liners are, I'm sweating my teeth. Um, so and look at this, okay? So retested, went back down, okay? And it wants, wanted to retest this again. So, uh, so basically speaking, okay, I would only, uh, you know, rebuy whenever I see the dip, yes, not the dip, whenever I see Bitcoin breaking out this level. And what is this level? Let me just clear this, uh, okay, clear this away. And this level is our daily, daily resistance on a triangular pattern, okay, like which, are, which I've showed you already a long time ago. So daily resistance, okay. However, if you see the Bitcoin breaking out this daily resistance, okay, uh, then that's a sign that we can go. It's gonna go up. And when that happens, you are also gonna see Bitcoin finally being in between this EMA ribbon. For now, still wait, okay. For now, wait. Uh, you know, but most importantly, you know, I wouldn't recommend. I don't. I don't recommend anything. But I am not selling anything. I hold a lot of bags. You know, as well. You know, when it comes to other uh, other crypto coins, but uh, everything follows Bitcoin. So it's best if you hold and if you see losses in your portfolio. It's best to don't look at your portfolio because you know, you know, we know, Bitcoin will go up. You know, sooner or later, no matter what. So why should we stress about yours? I know we are all, you know, this is our mentality. We want to, we want to stress out, you know, we want to see those daily gains, daily gains, but it's not healthy, you know, it's not healthy and it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna you're not gonna benefit from that. It's best just to keep holding, okay? Okay, do what you like, do your hobby, okay? Uh, and just don't look at your portfolio because you know that in long term, it's gonna be positive. So don't give your, you know, don't give your money to the whales. So, so be a responsible trader, okay? Control your emotions because the profits. So this is the hardest work. This is our work now. To hold, it's hard. But who said profits gonna come easy? That's our work. That's our hardest work. And our hardest work for now is to hold our bags, okay? If you if you are interested in, for example, in short-term trading, then you're welcome to join my cryptocurrency signals group, where we send signals. So this is for those who are you know are willing to look, they're willing to generate uh, you know short-term profits by uh, you know scalping some uh, some 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 great profitable setups. Okay. So if you are if you have in uh, Binance or Q Coin Exchange or Bybit, okay. So these are for example the results you can expect. Okay. Uh, yeah, but most of that's you know that's for those if you are interested in a, in a, in a trade trading basically. But uh, yeah, so that's it. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe. If you need help in trading, you're always welcome to email me. Trade safely, trade responsibly. And for now, now it's our time to relax, hold our bags, and do what we love. Okay, and it's gonna be you know if you if you if you engage into this kind of a perspective and, and you know an emotional state, you you will only benefit from this. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I love you all guys and uh, yeah, God bless. Bye. Bye